All right. Uh, this is 35 feet of um, Ethernet cable, category six with a shield. That there is my ground wire. This is a temporary breakout connector. This is the um, linear tuner connector that goes in the back of the uh, 710. And that's a uh, material 43 T240 toroid that's used to make sure the RF isn't coming down this guy. Um, so far it works. The purpose of the breakout is to test the cable and make sure so far there's no problem. Uh, and I don't have any RF that I'm picking up in, in my headphones from my microphone. And I'll take you outside and we'll look at the FC40. Okay, here's the FC40. Yesu's remote tuner, 100 watt. And I've got it connected to this pole. It's a telescoping aluminum antenna. It's a portable antenna by high gain minus the coil. So I'm using this to, to tune it. Um, and you might, and I've got, <clears throat> okay, let's back up a little bit. Let's uh, talk about what you get in the box when you buy it from ASU. You get 5.1 meters of coax with connectors on them, all pre-made, and you get 5.1 meters of control cable with connectors on it, all made. What I haven't found is what if somebody wants to, I do, what if somebody wants to run more than 5.1 meters, like you want to put it on a tripod like this, and get a few feet out away from your operating position, whether you're on a park bench or you've got it in a cabin or a house or a garage. <laughs> the uh, 5.1 feet doesn't work very well. It's, it's great if you're going to operate this thing in mobile. Mobile. Um, yeah. But if you're not going to run it inside of a vehicle, you need more. And I, so <clears throat> they have eight conductors of control wires with the standard cable, and they've got their little uh, mini DIN eight pin breakout Yesu standard thing. And I've ordered 35 feet of this, that, that for the control cable. That is uh, category six, shielded. Um, because their cable is shielded. I don't know. It's not category six, but it's shielded. I, I don't know if it has twisted pairs on the Yesu cable or not. This one does. It's shielded. And it, the shield on this end of it, of the control cable, does not connect to anything. It's only shielding the cable all the way back. And then the shield does connect to the ground of a radio. I'm going to actually order a 50 foot piece because this still isn't as long as I wanted it. I can use this 35 foot piece of control cable. And then I'm going to order the 50 foot piece and I'm going to verify it, check it out. And then I'm going to remove my breakout box from those connectors and directly wire it into those connectors, which is a treat to solder. <clears throat> and, uh, so if I'm successful with that, I'll have 50 feet of control cable, 50 feet of coax that I made up with connectors, and I'll be able to get 50 feet away from it and operate it portable and see what I can do with that. So there you go.